So in our office, we do use another tool for many years. It's a non-invasive test that can be done at uh, any time of the uh, implant life. It can be used during the placement. It can be used for monitoring before load, during review uh, in case of perimplantitis, uh, for monitoring risky implants, etc., etc. So this test is called the uh, RFA, uh, standing for Resonance Frequency Analysis. It is a tool uh, we use on a daily basis, uh, not only on difficult cases, but for all our implants. It is merely part of our standards uh, and we don't skip the test, even if everything was fine with good weather and good wind. It is a magnetic pulse that will induce a vibration on a transducer, which is a rod called uh, the smart peg. And those smart peg, uh, they are single-use instrument. I can show you. Uh, they are served sterile in their package. It's very small, very tiny. There are multiple variants to adapt uh, each system, each implant system, each implant diameter, each prosthetic platform. And some of them are compatible with multiple implants. So I strongly advise you to uh, download the Hostel app, which is very, very convenient for selecting uh, the right smart peg. They are all made of aluminum, hence they are meant to be fragile and they can go in an autoclave. I already tried, uh, of course, and they get damaged. It also means that if you're placing during the same procedure a high number of implants, you may prefer to use more than one peg because the thread can be altered when you screw and unscrew multiple times these little instruments and then the results can be also altered. And this is how the uh, device look. It can be a standalone, uh, a wireless handpiece that is connected to your internet browser uh, for storing the results as uh, an option, that, that's the Hostel Beacon. And um, it can also be a touchscreen device with a wired or wireless handpiece. Um, that's the Hostel IDX for creating patient files and co collecting all the data without any computer and uh, uh, an optional backup uh, on the internet.